All right, welcome to my How Is It Reactive series. In this episode, I'll be doing a two-in-one, covering both Iron Man's back bling as well as his wrap. So here's the back bling. It's called the Iron Man backplate. And as you can see, it clearly says reactive down there. And here's the wrap, the inventor's choice. And again, as you can see, it does say reactive. This one is also animated, as you can see on the chopper here. So I've got my son Jackers in here. We're going to test this out in Battle Lab, and we're going to show you exactly what they do. All right, so first up is the wrap here, the inventor's choice. So you can see how it's animated right there. The blue effect is pretty sweet, but it's only a very small portion of the gun. All right, so go ahead and shoot that one time, Jackie. Ooh, so it looked like from the tip all the way up to the blue lit up. Do it again, one shot. What color is that? Do it again. It's like a purple blue. Okay, rapid fire it now. Let's see. Yeah, so that's neat. So the whole top portion of the gun lights up a very, very nice blue. That is nice. All right, what other weapons you got? Show me another one. As you can see, it matches perfectly with the suited up Iron Man. Go ahead with that one. So you can see on this one, the blue is only right there. But look at that. The whole top portion lights up. Okay, what else you got? You got an SMG? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Rapid fire? Yeah, rapid fire. That's pretty sweet. That blue is very nice. Wait, wait. What's up? Watch the bullets that fly out. They're, they're coming at you. <laughs> hoppy, hoppy. Nice. Okay, show me a sniper. Wow. Not bad. Okay, here, here's the burst. Try the burst real quick. Yeah, so it looks like just the upper half of a weapon and nothing on the back side. Shoot it again real quick. Let me see the bottom. Haha. <laughs> no, okay. All right. So this is what it looks like from your perspective. Yeah, you can still see it. I had a lot of people ask me about this one. I don't know. I guess they just didn't test it themselves because you can clearly see it. The whole gun lights up blue almost. Hmm. All right, so now we're going to show the back plane. So this is what it looks like right now. You can see it's almost like a turtle shell. And of course, it displays your kill count right there on the bottom. So that's probably the number one reactive feature to it. It does count kills. Now aim down sights, Jack. Watch what it does here. And just hold it. So you can see that it transformed. It basically opened up. And this laser right here, I can actually see that as a teammate. Let's see how far it goes out. Well, yeah, you can notice it just slightly. Does that help you aim at all, Jack? Kind of. Okay, you can see it right behind this gun right there. Okay, undo it real quick. Un ADS. And then do it again. Huh. It's facing down. It's facing down? Oh, yeah, Not look at that. Me, it's like all glitched on his screen. Not for me, though. Oh, no? Yeah. Huh. So the same thing applies to me. Where did I aim? <laughs> Yours are down. Is it? So you can see the laser. I don't know if it was supposed to basically help you track, but it doesn't really. I mean, it's too faint to see, and only the left one appears to work. But it's kind of neat. I mean, it does open up every time you ADS. That's real nice. So not only does it count kills, but it basically morphs as you ADS. I like that. All right, let's get a kill, Jackie. Let's see what happens. As soon as he gets a kill, if he gets a kill, Jackie. There you go. They have shield. Oh, yes. I forgot they have shield. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, just stand perfectly still because I wanted to see if the, if the rap does anything. Well, it didn't really do anything. All right, let me focus on the back bling this time. Go ahead. Let's see if anything special happens other than that kill counter transitioning. No, not really. Wait, let me see your back bling. My back bling? You have no kills. I have no kills. You're right, Jackie. All right, toss me one. I'll show you a kill. 121, by the way. So, out of the kill counters, this is probably the best one. We've got quite a few kill counter backlings, but at least this one does other things, which is kind of cool. All right, we're just going to take a look at these in the dark, 
And I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, it is approaching nighttime. First of all, let's see if his eyes light up. I bet they do. I wonder if his eyes light up when he gets a kill. Did you notice at all? No. Oh, we'll have to check it out, Jack A. The darkness is approaching. Yeah, I think his eyes do light up. Look at that. Let's see if they glow, though. So obviously the wrap looks way better at night. Check that out. And you can see, even on the Tony Stark skin, he's got a bunch of blue that lights up on his back there. But the back bling definitely lights up really nicely in the kill count area. So you can clearly see that display. All right, go ahead and shoot me some bullets there, Jackie. Oh yeah, much, much more noticeable at night. Here's my perspective. Very nice. I really like this wrap. I kind of like it too. Okay, aim down sights. Let's see what this one looks like at night. Oh wow, that blue effect is really noticeable at night. Do that again, Un undo it and do it again. Watch my screen. See Ooh. how blue it was, like right in between the yeah. mechanical parts? Ooh, I like that, Jack A. Wait a minute, how did you make it open up and close? You weren't even, you didn't even undo it. Huh, that's weird, okay. All right, uh, get a kill real quick, let's see. I'm just gonna check at night if anything different happens here. Ow. Jack A! Oh, you know what? I was going to check his eyes. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and get a kill. Boy, that is so bright. No. No eye flashers. Not bad, though. I almost died. Okay, so I think that's about it. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Let me respawn real quick. So here's Tony Stark with his glider. So watch what happens when I deploy it. Does it attach to the back bling? No, no it doesn't. So you can see the flames boost out of the back and he basically hovers in place with his hands outstretched, right? Mm -hmm. See that again? Kind of halts his momentum with his hands there. And the underside lights up. But now let me transform into Iron Man, and we'll see how it differs. All right, so now let's look as Iron Man himself. So check this out. Basically, the animations are the same, but we've got fire that comes out of both our feet as well as our hands now. So much, much better suited for the actual Iron Man as opposed to Tony Stark. This just looks way better. As opposed to Tony Stark just putting his hands out I mean, these flames coming out of both the feet and the hands look tremendous. So if you're gonna be Tony Stark and you've awakened his Iron Man suit already, you may as well transform pre-lobby. That way you get to experience the full effect of this awesome glider. I'd say the Inventor's Choice is one of my favorite wraps this battle pass, and whoa. <laughs> and the back bling is not bad either. The only drawback to this is that it doesn't go, your arms got all weird there, Jack. <laughs> It, it doesn't go with the foil skins because this back bling only goes with this original style for Iron Man. It's super disappointing because when you unlock the silver, the gold, and the hollow forms, you can't run anything with it. It looks so dumb if you try to run this back bling. Super disappointing. Same thing for the wrap though because it only matches this particular style. And then when you use your special styles, the foil ones, it just looks dumb. So that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is your favorite.